Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 12. Let's go ahead and spend this one skill point that we have before we get started here. So I'm just going to throw that into Minor 69er level 1. All right, as you can see, I started building the wall around our crops and this wall is going to run around the entire farming area here to keep zombies out. I used center bars to make it easy to do the corners here like that. So let's continue building this wall and then we're going to plant some crops and then we're going to do some additional work around the barn here and then we're going to go exploring out in the desert. Last time we were out there we spotted a city in the distance and now that we have a mini bike we can get there in no time. Plus, cruising through the desert we can stop and pick up some yucca along the way. Shit. Stupid bars. Like it's the bar's fault. I had a friend that would always get pissed off at inanimate objects. It was hilarious. God knows how many controllers the kid broke. I'd always tell him, listen man, the plastic doesn't understand what you're saying to it. <laughs> Why are you breaking the shit? The kid's gonna give himself an ulcer one of these days. All right, now right here we are going to put a door because we got to be able to get in and out of this place. Unfortunately, the door is not going to line up with the centered bars, but that's fine because zombies or any entity for that matter cannot get through that little crack there. Oh, hey chicken. How's it going, bud? Make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa, buddy. In this series, anyway, don't let me catch you in lockdown, I'll fuck you up. Alright, crops are looking good. Let's get some more work done now. I want to put in more of the floor. Plus, digging up this ground right here will give us stone and sand. Both ingredients we're going to need to make more concrete. That's good for now. Next thing we need to do is make another way to get on top of the base, hey Pumba, without having to go in the pit and up this ladder. So what we're going to do is, I thought I just heard a zombie. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is punch a hole in the barn right there and make a little bridge. Let's fill that in right there, and then we're going to build the bridge out like this. We're going to have to get rid of all these overhang blocks. Let's bring our pickaxe down. Now let's get rid of this wood beam here, replace it with blocks. All right, now let's put a hatch in this doorway. We'll upgrade it a couple of times. I'll make an iron hatch later and we'll upgrade it even further. Bam. Okay, so now if something goes wrong, like, I don't know, I do something stupid and a couple of zombies get up here or whatever, we can retreat to this area, pop the hatch open, deal with the zombies, and then get back to work. I noticed I bumped my head on uh, these overhang pieces here. Let's get rid of them. There we go. But yeah, most importantly, now we have a way on top of the base without having to jump in the pit and climb up the ladder. I may make another door right there in the roof of the barn, which would be the third story. But not going to worry about that right now. I got a few more blocks left. Let's do the floor here, and then we'll do a little upgrading, and we'll get out of here. Off to the desert. We'll stop and get some yucca, and then we'll head towards that city we spotted.
Pretty sure that road right there leads to the city that we spotted. It's definitely to the southwest. Actually, you can see the icon up in the compass where I marked where I thought the city was. I mean, we were looking at it from a distance, but that's definitely the direction we want to head. Just want to get some food in my belly and- Oh, son of a bitch! Fucking bird. Damn it. Caught me off guard there. Trying to enjoy breakfast, you piece of shit. There's the road. But there's the city. Here we go. Extreme mini biking. Holy shit. We're good. Hey, chicken. Little help? Oh, fuck you too, then. Getting out of here is gonna be fun. Minibug's got some balls to it, though. You can always find your way out of problematic areas. Look at that. Alright, on the road again. Should probably stop and get some more food. Seems like a nice-sized city. We're gonna start with this POI over here, though. You know, start on the outskirts, work our way in. I always say to myself that I'm gonna mark all the POIs we raid with an X, and then I never do that. Shade Tree Auto, and we got a bird on our ass. Come here, bird. Mmm, bug off. There's another one. Yep, yeah, here he is. Oh, fuck this arm up. There's nothing in here. Alright. Let's get started then. Small little POI. Be in and out of this place. Oh, hey, buddy. Listen, I need an oil change and a rim job. A rim job, for those of you that don't know, it's when they, like, balance your rims. Because if you have a set of rims on your car that's too big or... You, you know what? Just Google it. Just Google rim job and you can see what it is. Alright, here's the shop. Got a zombie. He went down without a fight. Bitch. Alright, we should be able to get an engine from this engine. There we go. Sweet. Ah, uh, level 3 hammer. We'll replace our level 2 with that. I left my hammer at home. When I'm still carrying the stone axe, I never bring a hammer out with me, because the stone axe can repair things just like a hammer. But once we find uh, either a battle axe or a fire axe, then I'll start carrying around the fire axe and a hammer. And I know you gotta carry two tools instead of one, but it's worth it, because the stone axe is a piece of shit. Are you the one making all that racket? Listen, lady, if you want a rim job, come around and talk to management. Don't just bang on the wall out here. That's not how you get what you want. You attract more bees with honey or some shit. That's such a stupid saying. Bees aren't attracted to honey. They're attracted to nectar. That's what they want. They're attracted to flowers. Honey is the byproduct. It's like bee puke, essentially. That's what honey is. Why would they be attracted to that? Got another POI here on the outskirts of the city. This is another small one. We should be able to get through pretty quickly. And then we'll go check out the city. See what's going on in there. I believe this garage door just opens. If I... Oh! Fucking birds, man. <laughs> it's like as soon as I stopped. He must have been following me. I didn't even hear him. I like how that rolling door opens. Very nice. Wake up, lady. Oh, shit. Gotta reload. Wake up, lady. A mining helmet. Not that we need one. I probably pulled a helmet light mod out of that helmet and put it in uh, a better helmet. I have a better one that we're gonna sell to the trader. And that'll just increase its value. Give me some cornmeal. Oh, son of a bitch. Usually you get some cornmeal out of those army trucks. Unfortunately, not this time. Yeah. 
Now we can make that jump. Super easy. While I eat my yucca. Oh, shit. We're good. Um, pretty sure I can make this, too. Oh, barely. All right, that door's locked. How do we get in here? Through a window, I believe. Oh, hey, lady. Listen, give me a second, will ya? I'm eating right now. She just couldn't wait. Hey, listen, buddy. Uh, can you give me a second? I'm eating right now, and... Uh, oh, you impatient son of a bitch. Oh, you didn't think I was that quick, did you? Well, think again. Here we are. Got a sleeper right there. More up in the ceiling. Oh, shit. Oh, only he's waking up. All right, well, come on out here, buddy. So I don't wake up your friends. I woke him up anyway. The blunderbuss didn't wake him up, but me punching this guy in the face did. She did. He did. And that's it. Oh, that's decent right there. Got a silencer. Fucking junky schematic. Still haven't found one of those in lockdown, and we're on like day 32. Compound bow schematic and a fortifying grip mod, which we can put on uh, something. The wrench, I guess. Why not? Might as well grab some more yucca before we head into the city because we are completely out and we're still pretty hungry. Hour 16, we can definitely get through at least one more POI before we uh, have to start heading home. Oh, treasure map. We'll go ahead and read that now. Where are we at? To the north? Right here, it's actually closer to our home. That's good. Not going to do that today, though. Maybe in the next episode. This city definitely seems like it has a lot to offer. So, um, what we'll probably do in the next episode is head straight for the treasure chest first and then come back down to this city and do some more looting. Looks like we got the Navisgain High School up here. That's definitely what it is. We got another one of these construction POIs. The high school is great, though. Good place to raid. Not, definitely not going to do it now at hour 16, but maybe tomorrow. We'll hit up the treasure chest, come right down here, and uh, go right for the high school. Because the high school won't take us all day, but it takes a while. It's definitely not a POI you want to start at this time of day. Look at this place, though. That's an interesting looking house. Let's do this. I mean, like I said, it seems like a pretty big city. That looks like the house on the hill over there. Definitely seems like it has a lot to offer, but with our time constraints right now, we're just going to do this house. Some lead. Waking up zombies. Oh, shit, where'd you come from, lady? The ceiling? Must have fell from up there. Dead. Well, the workbench is working. Uh, let's see if we can get up there. I think I can grab that ladder from this car. Oh, let's try that again. Son of a bitch. One more time. Ready? Grab it. Shit. Secret stash. Ah, level 3 iron chest armor. That has got to be better than what we are wearing. It is, so let's switch it out. Bam. Alright. Let's keep it moving here. Oh, hey, buddy. Just give me a second, will you? I'm eating right now. Sounds like we got a zombie outside. Oh, we're doing okay on food, but be nice to find something that we can eat. 
Not that. Not that either. And there's not many canned foods we can eat. Peas, pears, and miso soup. That's pretty much all I allow myself. Once we can find mushrooms, we'll be good. We can start crafting a bunch of vegetable stew. There's a POI. I, I don't remember what it looks like from the outside, but I've been there a couple of times. Stun baton schematic. Oh, here we go. Uh, party starter. Targets with full health take 20% more damage. That's with the shotgun. And uh, weaving. I have plenty of bandages. Okay. Um, but there's a POI that has a mushroom farm in the basement, and you can get a ton of mushrooms there. I don't remember what it looks like from the outside, but that would be a great POI to find, I'll tell you that much. I mean, it's day 12 and we're just walking around eating. <laughs> I've never walked around a house I'm looting just shoving food in my face constantly before. And again, I was never a farmer before. You know, in hindsight, I think the food that we should have limited ourselves to is just natural food, minus meat. So, just vegetables, berries, honey, and that's it. You know, only food you can find in the world. No canned food at all. I think if we do a season two to Farmer Glock in Alpha 20, that's how we're going to do it. And it seems like a pretty rough challenge, but... Considering snowberries don't give you poison or dysentery anymore, it's actually not too bad. As, as soon as you start off, you, we, I would rip through the initial challenges and then immediately start collecting snowberries and honey. And that should get you through day one pretty easily. If you, and if you happen to spawn in the desert to start, then you're good to go. There's yucca everywhere. Hey, lady. What are you doing in the closet? Damn. Big ass closet. It's like a damn room. Bigger than my bedroom when I was a kid. Hunting knife schematic. And sniper volume 2. Leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies. Take the sewing kit, scrap the boots, and I guess we're going out the window. Yeah, this is the way to go, right here. Right back in this window. Look at that, first try. Oh, okay. Level 1 pistol with some ammo. I'm actually going to scrap that pistol for the pistol parts, because we're looking for those so we can craft an SMG. If you remember... Uh, last episode, or a couple episodes back, we bought the SMG schematic. We just need pistol parts so we can craft one. All right, let's go. Party in the bedroom. Oh, shit, we got zombies trying to break in here. Back up, lady. Is that other one dead? Yeah, she's dead. And she's dead, too. There's the loot. It's interesting that they put it behind a locked door. Not that it was a heavy door or anything. It was made of wood, so easy to break, but still. Usually... The loot isn't behind a locked door like that. Kind of threw me off for a second. Damn, that's a nice little grab right there. 10% more damage against deer. I'll read it, but we're not going to be shooting any deer. Um, this is a dismember chance for shotguns. And let's scrap these knuckles and I'll take everything else. Three stone arrows. Whatever. See what we got in here, and then we'll head home. Oh, that's nice. Level 3 iron fire axe and a level 3 iron shovel. Now, like I said earlier, in the next episode, we'll scrap the stone axe, and I'll carry around the iron fire axe and our hammer. And of course, I will replace our stone shovel with the iron shovel. What's the best way to get out of here? Um... I guess let's just break out over here. Nah, over here. It's already basically broken anyway. Oh, I didn't check the backyard. We missed that, but not too worried about it. We got some good loot today. 
I think this city is going to treat us well. Plus, it's in the desert, so there's yucca everywhere. I want to grab some more because uh, not only do I want to fill up my belly tonight, I also want to make some seeds out of it and get more planted in the farm. All right, now I'd like to take a road home. So I'm thinking maybe there's a road that heads out of this city to the east that possibly runs into a town that's south of our small little town. Let's try that. Because I definitely don't want to go the way we came, which is through the fucking mountains. Uh, I gotta turn around. Let's go this way and then make a right and see if this road runs out of town. Got a bird. Get some more rotten flesh. All right, looks like we do have a road that runs east out of this town. That's good. Let's see where this takes us. Hopefully, like I said, to another town that's south of our town. Let's grab some more yucca. Got some flesh. Ooh, and another bird. Look at this. We're going to be able to make a good amount of farm plots tonight. Oh, God damn it. I don't know why I stopped to check this trash. My guns aren't loaded. Here, you know what? Bing! Fucker. It's the first time I ever punched a bird in the face. You know what? It probably won't be the last. Well, we're entering the green biome, and if you look at the compass, we are headed straight towards our barn. So this road probably doesn't run into another town. Probably runs right to our town, and that's what it looks like it does. And that's fine. Now at least we know what road to take when we want to go back to the desert city. Holy shit. That was a wolf. Oh shit, that was another wolf. It barked at us. Uh, I'm just going to pull into the barn. I don't know if it's chasing us or not. I don't see it or hear it. Look at our corn looking all ripe. All right, fuck it. Let's harvest our crops. Man, that was a nice little grab right there. I'm telling you, once we can get our hands on mushrooms, start a nice mushroom wall, our food problems will be over. All right, well, I'm going to get all this loot put away and organized. If that wolf shows up, we'll deal with him right here at this doorway. And uh, that's going to be it. We'll pick things up on the morning of day 13. We're going to go get that treasure chest, and then we're going back to the desert city. I'm thinking we raid the Navisgain school. That could be fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.